mate, this is fantastic. This is the ultimate recognition from the club, right? When they uh, started handing these out, I was always wondering, how do I get one? I always see the people walking out in the field and get one. And my brother was lucky enough to get one. So to finally get one for myself after uh, uh, being a supporter since I was born and uh, being a member since I was able to afford my own membership, uh, it's a true honor. Fantastic. I'm really proud of this. But what it means is it's just uh, a community, right? It's about coming down there and cheering on the side and um, you know getting the family together, having a, a way to get together and just uh, enjoy some sport together. And that's what uh, this club brings for us. It brings together the family, uh, both on and off the field. My brother and I managed to go down to Canberra to watch the Dogs Canberra game last year at um, uh, down there. And uh, one one memory that pops out of that game was Karen Holland's try at halftime, where he started on one side of the field, ended up on the other, grubber to himself, and scored the try. The other ones would be uh, 95 Grand Final. We were lucky enough to have tickets. Uh, my brother was being um, was at school, and Des Hassler was his school teacher at the time, and uh, he did give it to Des before we went to the game. And if you watch the footage as the players run out, you'll see balloons in the background. That's my mum's way of getting people's attention to know where we were sitting. So you see some balloons as the players runs out. That's us. I'm a, I'm a sweet spot for, for the halves. I like uh, Avarillo. I, I think he, he's got uh, he's got some talent there. He hasn't had the opportunity to shine, uh, not knowing where his best spot is at the moment, moving around. But I think he's got some great potential there for, for now. And in the past, look, I'm a, I'm a big um, I'm a big uh, fan of uh, the people that do the, the hard yards. So. Players like uh, Grimaldi, Robert, Ralph, uh, Reed, and those guys that don't get a lot of the accolades because we had the polish on the outside, the polymatters matters and the lambs that were doing all the creative stuff. But they did all the hard work in the middle. They're the ones that really uh, got me to the game. So we've got a uh, sprinkling of new stars coming to the club, which is fantastic. It'll uh, really revitalize. I'm hoping it'll have the same effect that we had in 2008, transitioning in 2009 with the players like Nick Ennis, Kamali, uh, David Stagg, all those that came to the club in 2009. And I still remember that game where we went from Wooden Spoon in 2008 and we beat Manly in the first game round one with all those plays with that fantastic Morris try off and Ennis pass uh, in the first half. So I'm hoping next year uh, we get to go to the games with, uh, we're out of lockdown, but to see stuff like that from our side again will be fantastic. And share that with mum, dad, my brother and my little guy. Supporters are there no matter what, right? And uh, look, we live in the northern beaches of Sydney. Uh, to get to a game, it's 45 minutes one way. Uh, win, lose, or draw, we've got to travel 45 minutes back. And on the way, we always stop to get something. We're always in our jerseys and we get heckled if we lose. We get told that, you know, you're in the wrong area. But no matter what, we support. We're there to um, to, to be with the club uh, through the good times and bad. And at the moment, we're not going through a great patch, but we're looking forward to, to getting back to the glory days and uh, enjoying the successes that we know will come in the years to come.